Before we delve into the world of bacteria, please subscribe to this channel and like this video for more intriguing content. Today, we're exploring Salmonella typhi, a fascinating bacterium with a significant impact on human health. As a key player in the world of infectious diseases, understanding its structure and classification is crucial. This bacterium, invisible to the naked eye, holds an intriguing complexity within its microscopic form, so get ready for an exciting exploration. Join us as we journey into the microscopic world of Salmonella typhi. Salmonella typhi belongs to a fascinating group of microorganisms. It falls under the kingdom bacteria, indicating it's a single-celled organism without a nucleus. It's part of the phylum proteobacteria, a large group known for their metabolic diversity. The class is gamma proteobacteria, which includes several medically and scientifically important groups of bacteria, such as the family Enterobacteriaceae. This family in turn brings us to the genus Salmonella, a group of rod-shaped bacteria responsible for various diseases. Lastly, we have the species Typhi, the specific bacterium causing typhoid fever. Each level of this classification helps us understand more about Salmonella Typhi. For instance, its kingdom tells us it's a simple organism, while its phylum and class show us it's versatile and can adapt to different environments. The family and genus give us clues about its shape and the diseases it can cause. Understanding the classification of Salmonella typhi provides insight into its characteristics and behavior. Salmonella typhi, like all living organisms, carries out essential life processes. Let's delve into this fascinating microorganism's life cycle and physical characteristics. First, let's talk about nutrition. Salmonella typhi is a heterotroph meaning it obtains nutrients by consuming organic substances. It thrives in the intestinal tract of humans where it feeds off of the nutrients available, such as glucose. Next, reproduction. This bacterium reproduces through a process called binary fission. Essentially, the bacterium duplicates its DNA and divides into two identical cells. This process allows Salmonella typhi to multiply rapidly, often leading to an infection if it's present in a host body. On to movement, Salmonella typhi is motile, possessing flagella that propel it forward. This mobility is crucial for the bacterium to maneuver within the human host, helping it reach the intestinal tract where it thrives. Now, let's shift our focus to the morphology of Salmonella typhi. It's a rod-shaped bacterium typical of many in the Enterobacteria CI family. It has a length of about 2 to 5 micrometers and is about half a micrometer in diameter. A distinguishing feature is its peritricus flagella, which are whip-like structures that encircle the bacterium, enabling movement. Knowing the morphology and life processes of Salmonella typhi helps us understand how it functions and survives. This understanding is crucial in our ongoing battle against diseases like typhoid fever caused by this persistent pathogen. Salmonella typhi is notorious for causing a severe infection known as typhoid fever. This fever is a systemic disease infamous for its debilitating symptoms these can include prolonged high fever, weakness, stomach pain, and even mental confusion. But how does this bacteria cause such havoc? The answer lies in its transmission routes. Salmonella typhi is typically ingested through contaminated food or water. Once ingested, the bacteria invade the intestinal wall and multiply. From there, they spread to the bloodstream, causing a severe systemic infection. This invasion and multiplication is what leads to the severe symptoms of typhoid fever. It's also worth noting that Salmonella typhi is a hardy bacterium. It can survive in water or dried sewage for several weeks, making it a serious threat in areas with poor sanitation. The role of Salmonella typhi in causing typhoid fever underscores the importance of understanding this bacterium. Knowing how it operates can help us take effective measures to prevent and treat this serious disease. The world of bacteria, specifically Salmonella typhi, is truly intriguing. Let's take a moment to reflect on what we've learned. We've explored the fascinating classification of this bacterium, diving into its unique taxonomic place among other bacteria. We've also uncovered the intricate life processes and morphology of Salmonella typhi, shedding light on its distinctive features and behaviours. Moving on, we delved into the serious health implications of this bacterium, particularly its role in causing typhoid fever. We learned that the infection process is complex, starting with the ingestion of contaminated food or water, followed by the bacteria's invasion into the intestinal wall. 
and spread to other organs. The symptoms of typhoid fever, including fever, weakness, abdominal pain and rash, can be severe and life-threatening. In conclusion, our journey into the world of Salmonella typhi has shown us the importance of understanding these microscopic organisms. Remember, understanding Salmonella typhi not only enriches our knowledge, but also helps in the prevention and treatment of typhoid fever. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and like for more content.